Good morning, welcome back. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. I can't believe it's already the 23rd of December. Um, my name is Judith. I am one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters. Together with my co-host and sister Julie, we produce a usually monthly uh, video just sharing our love of all things fibery. Um, Julie is also making videos this Vlogmas. You can find her videos on the same channel. Uh, if you are a new viewer, welcome. I'm so glad you clicked on the video. I hope you like what you see. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. We definitely appreciate you viewing, um, joining us and sharing in our love of fibery things. Um, definitely want to thank all those who commented on my meltdown video. <laughs> Um, and giving me some words of encouragement and um, it's greatly appreciated so thank you um, if you are a um, new viewer um, I would also love if you would subscribe give us a subscribe and um, check out the rest of our videos um, to come and past um, today I am wearing um, I honestly I don't know what this is <laughs> I know that sounds awful, but I, I did not knit it myself. I won this on um, the main yarn cruise the first year that we um, participated in the main yarn cruise. It's beautiful. Um, I won it from the Dunroving Yarn Shop. Um, it was one of their monthly drawings. And I, I know she told me what it was, but I honestly can't remember. Um, but it is beautiful and I am certain it is done in done roving yarns, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. It's a, it's a small um, asymmetrical shawl and it's just the perfect thing to keep you cozy without a lot of bulk. <clears throat> so I love it. Um, the mug in the video this morning is a repeat mug because um, I've run out of mugs. <laughs> I have no more mugs to share. I didn't realize I didn't have 25 mugs, which is shocking because I'm a mug collector. I did do a purge of mugs a few um, years ago. So um, so the mug in the morning video was my Shelbourne Farms mug. Again, Shelbourne Farms is a farm in Vermont that we took our grandsons to when we visited there um, several years ago now. Um, and it is a very nice... Um, very nice farm. I love, I love building, uh, visiting small community farms. They're just amazing. Mm. Cheers. And yes, we do have our frothy milk again. Um, so Advents, <clears throat> the Advent fiber. So the, the fiber Advent that I'm opening is a, an Advent that I created myself using um, either stash um, fiber or leftover fibers from previous projects um, or from Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. And this is, I believe, a fiber from their October. I'm pretty sure this was the October, um, the Halloween-y kind of um, fiber box. So that will be going on the wheel today. And um, if this is your first time joining, I am spinning these little fluffs of fiber into one single, just continuing the colors. And then I'm going to ply it on itself for a two ply yarn. Um, and 
So sorry about that, the battery died. I'm not sure where I was, so I'll go back a little bit um, to where I heard the beep. Um, <laughs> once all of the fiber is in the single ply of yarn, I'm going to ply that on itself to make a two ply yarn. And this is the final day of fiber. So tomorrow, the 24th, I will be finally plying that yarn together and seeing what I get. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see how it turns out. Um, my second advent was from Robin Beal at A Yarn to Die For Design right here in the great state of Maine. And today I got more peppermint, which I'm so excited because I used the last one in my coffee the other morning. So that's going to be a welcome treat for the next couple of days. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, the yarn in her um, advent today is this gorgeous creature. It is blacks and pinks and just gorgeousness. There's some deep reds in there and it is, hey, Mrs. Claus. Very, very cute. I just love the names that she gives her fiber, uh, her yarns. It's so cute. So that will be... This is a 20 gram mini. I will be rolling it into two 10 gram balls and then knitting um, one of the 10 gram balls into a pair of scrappy socks. And the other 10 gram ball is going into a habitation throw. <clears throat> so this is my socks so far. Um, I did work out that I'm going to be quite, um, going to be quite, uh, short <laughs> on my foot. So I added a few more rows to this um, stripe and this stripe, and then the next two stripes will be, I'll add, um, I think I added three rows and then we're adding four rows to the next few to get to my correct um, row count for my foot. So the last color on the 24th will be quite long because it's going to be the, um, the nine rows instead of five rows plus the the toe but that's okay um i think it's gonna look stunning so i did get both of those done last night which i'm kind of excited about i got a lot of knitting done yesterday um the habitation throw is coming along quite nicely i am not sure about whether it's going to get to where it needs to get <laughs> to finish it off with the next two colors. I'm, I'm hoping so. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like it will based on the, the beginning. Um, but we'll see. It's quite large. And once it gets blocked out, I'm sure it will be even larger. It's, it's so beautiful and squishy soft. Um, so I did get yesterday's done. I got all of the um, mistakes fixed from back on day 18. So that is ready to go for today's. I can't believe there's only two more left. It's crazy. Um, and the thing about the habitation throw, it's weird. Um, when I was across like the middle section where it was super long, I felt like it was taking forever. And now that I've got only like the smaller piece, it feels like it's going so much faster. It's the same amount of yarn. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense why it would feel like it goes faster, but it does. Um, and then I did knit a little bit on the um, Happy Ever After. No, Ever After Shawl by Helen Stewart. This is part of the Knit Vent series this year. And I've done beads. <clears throat> I've done some beady things. There's a bead there. And one there, and one there, and one there. Yeah, so it's coming along quite nicely. I was a little concerned about the lack of contrast in my color choices, but I think it's going to be really subtle and pretty. So, um, that is kind. Of, this is kind of something I'm doing um, at, after and if I get my Advent knitting done. Um, and then after um, Advent is done, I'll exclusively knit on this until it's completed. And then I will begin working on the, I think we're up to 37. 
I think with the Ever After Shawl, it became 37 whips that I have. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, I did buy myself when I was out at the bookstore getting books for my chil for my grandchildren for Christmas. I did get a wonderful leather bound um, leather bound book, and I am going to use this. I I'm calling it my fiber journal. Um, and I'm going to kind of combine just all my fiber recrafts into one and see how that goes. Um, if I find that I'm filling it up too fast between knitting and spinning, I may go and get another, um, and do separate knitting and spinning journals. We'll see. Um, but I got inspiration from Kay Linton of the Crazy Sock Lady. And she has wonderful journals in her shop. Um, I just, I couldn't wait to have them shipped. <laughs> I wanted it right now. So I went out to a bookstore and found something suitable. But she has some wonderful journals and she actually showed in one of her vlogmases um, how she sets up and you know what she does in her journal. And I thought it was brilliant. So I'm going to take inspiration from her to create my own journal. Um, I do, put a lot of things on Ravelry, but I don't include a lot of project notes and such because in the moment when I'm knitting them, knitting something and I make a modification or I figure something out that I think would be useful to someone else, I don't jot it down. I don't just, you know, scamper to Ravelry and type it in. <clears throat> so I want a journal that's going to give me more accessibility to be able to write things down and to be able to um, hang on to things tangibly and then later it, you know, I can go into Ravelry and update what is in the book. Um, the other thing I like about Kay's the way that Kay sets up her journal is she includes a little scrap of the yarn. Um, a lot of times you know I'll have a project where oh I remember I used this yarn but how did it feel like what you know and having that that tangible record I'll be able to actually see feel um, and remember the yarn and the project, putting a picture in and that sort of thing. It also is a little more portable. I can take it with me so I can access it anytime. I don't have to worry about having an internet connection or um, you know, having my phone or my iPad or what have you. So I like the tangibility of it. <clears throat> so I will be setting that up um, as well as I got a new day planner um, journal. I use um, <clears throat> I use Freedom Master um, Law of Attraction journal for all of my um, all of my day planning and you know I have different there's notes from when I was redoing my stash um, Month, it has a monthly and also a weekly breakdown of activities and things so you can keep track of um, life basically <laughs> and um, I haven't been as good about updating this as I used to be um, <clears throat> but it kind of keeps life organized and keeps my mind organized um, and as I get back into the office um, I, I recall, I mean, gosh, it was almost 20 months ago now that we were, I think 20 months ago that we were last in the office, but um, I remember it, being in the office and working away, I, I listened to a lot of um, knitting podcasts, fiber podcasts, things like that while I'm working, audiobooks and um, such. So it's nice to sometimes write down notes and I would leave that day planner open on my desk. So when something would peek in my ear, I just jot it down in the little notes section of the, um, the planner. And then I would have that to refer back to later on. So I'm going to get a little bit more, um, disciplined about filling that out each day. And I got a new, um, a new planner, which I'm really excited about um, setting up and getting ready for the new year. So that's my plan today, is getting those things set up and ready to go, as well as my knitting and my spinning. Um, I kind of skipped over life events because <laughs> there's not much happening in life events. 
Today is Miss Dillon's um, fifth birthday and we aren't really sure <clears throat> how that's going to be celebrated so it may be virtual um, it may just be a Skype call and um, she'll open her presents at a, a later a later date we're just we're really not sure how that's going to be handled at the moment um, likely going to have a true holiday after the holidays so um, we'll see but that's what's going on today. I do still have a little bit of wrapping left to do. That's where things are at. So today we're going to set up the journals, um, do our advent spinning, our advent knitting. So with that said, let's get some spinning and knitting and I'll see you later. I absolutely love this journal. It comes with these great stickers to add some color and inspiration. It's undated, so I do have to date each month myself, which is nice because if I get lazy and miss a month, um, and I love to just doodle and make it my own little journal. Um, it also comes with this great little pocket in the back for all of your stickers and things and an elastic closure. It's wonderful. I also spent some time just adding some basic information to my first project for January, so I am ready to go with those 37 whips. Also finished the last of my wrapping. Am I the only one that finds this extremely satisfying when your scissors just sort of glide up the gift wrap? I love it. You are a very big boy. never seen such a huge gray squirrel before. Hello, another Vlogmas day is done. I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Um, kind of a, a low-key day today. Um, not a lot going on. It was nice to get some wrapping done. It was nice to get some journaling set up um, and start getting ready for the new year. Uh, was lovely to celebrate Dylan's birthday. I am here in the office craft room because it's just a little quieter in here with the um, the furnace going and we now have the humidifier going too because with um, oil fired hot air heat um, the air gets very dry so we've also got that set up in the dining room so it makes the main living area a little noisy <laughs> so um, so I hope you enjoyed today's videos. I know it wasn't a lot to watch, but um, it was fun to get the journal set up and get the wrapping completed and to check out the chubby squirrel. <laughs> he was he was crazy. Um, I've never seen such a large squirrel. He was like a small cat, honestly. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, I did get quite a bit of knitting done. All my advent knitting is done. A little bit on the Ever After Shawl, um, and I'll, I'll share that with you tomorrow. But for tonight, I think I'm going to go get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow is going to be a big day, so I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. Good night.